Hello. In this part, we are going to take a look at how to get into sculpting in ZBrush in five minutes. The first thing that we need to do is go up to this section here at the top, and then we are going to choose Load Tool. We are going to bring in a poly sphere, which ships with ZBrush, and you can find it in Program Files, Pixelogic, ZBrush 3, Z Tools. So select it, hit Open, and then the very next thing we need to do is draw it on the canvas and go into Edit Mode. If for whatever reason as you draw it, you seem to draw many, many, many more, all you have to do is press edit. The last one you selected will be in 3D mode. All the others are basically dropped to 2.5D. They're no longer editable in 3D. And then you just go up to layer palette and clear. But if you follow those instructions, draw it on the canvas, go into edit mode, you'll have no problems. Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to turn symmetry on so that we're sculpting on both sides so that as I sculpt on this side it's reflected over here. To do that we go to the transform palette and we say activate symmetry. And You can see I've got two red dots as I sculpt on one side I'm sculpting on the other. Now, a couple of notes about navigation. You draw your model onto the canvas. You click outside of the model to rotate it. Click on the model to sculpt it. And then to move it, you press and hold Alt and click outside of the model. Then to zoom in and out on it, you press Alt, click on the canvas so that basically you are moving it, and then release Alt. The whole time you have to keep the uh, left mouse button clicked. So again, I will hold, press and hold Alt, click on the canvas, left click on the canvas, release Alt, and scale up and down. Now those are the hotkeys. You can also do that here on the sidebar. So we can go into the, uh, let's say, this section right here. You can use move, scale, and rotate to adjust the position of your model. So first rotate, then move, and then scale and I'm just clicking and dragging up and down here. Also you can hold control and hover over these to learn the hotkeys. So there's the pop-up help for move, pop-up help for scale, and pop-up help for rotate. Okay. Also as you are rotating your model around you can press shift to snap it to an orthogonal view. So I'll rotate it close to the side view and then as I'm rotating it press shift and then let go of the left mouse button and the shift button. It's usually best to let go of the uh, left mouse button first and then shift. Snap to a front view, snap to a top view, and there we are and here I'm scaling in. So that's the basic navigation. Now, as you can see, I'm sculpting on the surface of this model, but what I want to do right now is get into the move brush. So I'm going to click this brush uh, button here. It's going to open up this pop-up. I'm going to select move, and I'm going to increase my draw size zoom out a little bit 
I'm going to pull this down and start to shape a face. So that's going to be my front view. I'm going to rotate it to the side view and press shift. And move the jaw forward, the back of the head up, and start to shape this a little bit. And then lower my draw size, start to shape the sides of the head. We're going to ignore the ears for now. Pull out a bit of a nose. Push the eye cavity back. Follow this line that wraps around the cheek and then into the master. Pull the jawline a little bit more rigid. Then I can increase my draw size and start to make some global changes. Lower that again. And begin to rough in the overall shape of a human head. Now when you do this you will want to make sure that you are working uh, when you're working on these side views you are snapping to orthogonal. You don't want to have this accidentally rotated upside down like that. You want whenever you press shift and snap into a side view that it looks straight like that. And continue to work this from there. So that is exactly seven minutes to get into Sculpt, a little bit over the budget, uh, but that's the primer. In the next section, we'll take a look at taking this Sculpt uh, and completing it.